Well, I've got the rest of the torque amplifier apart, and I figured I'd uh, flip the camera around and show you guys what I found. If you look at these splines, they're pretty messed up. That's where the pressure, or not the pressure plate, the, uh, well, what the heck's it called? Basically, the flywheel side of the torque amplifier goes. Fairly sloppy on there. And these splines right here are pretty worn. That's where the actual direct drive clutch disc goes for the torque amplifier. <clears throat> and if you look at the splines in the clutch hub, they're absolutely destroyed. There's nothing left of them. I'd be surprised if that lasts a year. So we got to do something there. When I was popping a bearing off, it actually popped apart. I wasn't going to do it off camera, but it kind of did it for me off camera. This is actually the the one-way clutch in the in the uh, torque amplifier. It's basically just a roller clutch like a transmission would have. Some of the rollers are flat spotted. Some of these pins were stuck all the way in. These are what puts pressure on the rollers. A couple of them have no spring left to them at all. That one doesn't. It's just kind of hanging out. But the purpose of these, if I can get this in there one-handed, that it puts pressure. I don't know if you can see that there's a ramp right there. So it puts pressure all the way around and then it rides on this hub right here and it allows it when you turn it this way these roll down the ramp when you turn it the other way they roll up the ramp and lock it so it'll spin this way freely but it won't spin this way freely so we're going to have to fix the ones that have weak springs ones that have no springs Obviously that one's not going to work. I'm undecided if I'm going to take the whole thing apart and just put all new springs in it. Or what I'm going to do there yet. But I obviously need to do something with the springs. Some of the rollers look okay. Obviously some of the rollers don't. That one's got some flat spots on it. Definitely got some flat spots there. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. Obviously this gear is junk. And that's technically part of the torque amplifier. It's the input gear for the transmission, but it's also the output gear for the torque amplifier. All these pinions... I don't know if that shows up on the camera or not, but... These pinions are all loose, so at the very least, I've got to pop those apart and figure out what's wrong there. I don't know what my options even are. Possibly an oversized needle bearing in there. Probably the pins, the pins are likely worn. Um, the bores of the gears if they're messed up a little bit, it's not that big of a deal. I can hone them and and fix those to an extent. So we'll have to pop that apart and see exactly how messed up it really is. But my real issue is these splines being messed up. Obviously we can't run it like this. We're gonna have to figure something out. I'm gonna take this plant carrier for the torque amplifier apart. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull these pinions out see exactly how bad they're worn. Hopefully it doesn't come apart too hard and hopefully it doesn't look too bad. We shall see. There's just little roll pins.
that go through the end of the pinions. Just popping them out. We'll take it apart. You okay? Simmer. Duke, are you barking at your shadow? Oh. Big protective idiot barking at somebody. What? What? What are you barking at? Did your shadow scare you this morning? What? Go get him. Go get him. Go. Go get him. That's one special creature. Really? Definitely a decent amount of shaft wear, pinion shaft wear. It's not really a good sign. I totally expected it though. Hopefully this is the softer metal. Opinions actually feel really good, at least this one. I don't feel any step in there at all. Hopefully, maybe, we'll be able to get away with just uh, new shafts and new bearings. The bearings are absolutely garbage. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. All rusty and pitted. I'm sure I can find the bearings somewhere. If I have to, I'll make the pins. It's not the end of the world. A little more of the same here, you can see it. Same gig here. Pins are all junk. Actually sort of happy to see that. Yeah, the pinions feel pretty good. All three of them. That's a good thing. It's got a decent amount of wear on that little thrust washer. You can see the step on it. I'll have to see if we can find another one of those. If not, we may have to make one. Another bearing surface. There's needle bearings inside this housing. Not very nice. This is likely the seal surface that was leaking so bad. not any good. <laughs> the 
you look at all those bearings in there, all those needles in there, you can see all the pitting from previously being rusted. The lower ones are even worse. Oh yeah, look at all that slop. Typically a cage needle bearing like this doesn't have a bunch of slop like that. Usually they're fairly tight in there. Gives you an idea how messed up these ones are. Junk. Well, that's all the teardown for now. Now I gotta try to find some parts. Hopefully I'm successful. Hopefully I don't need to rob a bank to do so. It's not really an option, so. We shall see. Till next time.